We love you, Wesley. Looking at my watch, think it's about that time. Yeah. Bully fam, bully fam, what it do? TBK West back with another video, man. Yes, sir, man. And right now it is, I think about, <clears throat> let me see, let me see, hold up. 12.45 at night. Let me give y'all a quick recap right quick. All right, so y'all know TBK Serena, which is TBK Marina's uh, mom and TBK Sky's mom. Uh, she came back in heat, right? So... That's who the stud credit was for uh, Mr. Youngboy. So, my man George over there at A1 Exotics, Exotic Frenchies, that is. Um, he got a hectic schedule at work, you know what I'm saying? He be getting off late. That's why we're doing this video this late. He dropped her off. I told him he could just drop her off for a few days, man. And I could make sure she take. I mean, you know, not guaranteed, but, you know, I can, you know, raise the chances, I guess you could say. Because when you don't have that much time, you're at work, you know what I'm saying? You can't really, you know, give too much time to your dog. So he dropped her off, bro. As soon as she, as soon as she got here, I gave her a progesterone test, and these are the results. Yeah, bro. Yeah, so she's a 15.28 man. So. Um, as y'all know, um, she most likely started bre uh, <laughs> she most likely started ovulating probably like yesterday or the day before. So we are gonna go ahead and do a breeding real quick tonight, man. So um, with a number like that, I recommend you do three AIs in a row since we are doing AIs, man. So let me go ahead and uh, get everything ready, man. Um, y'all can go ahead and check out my video with Lou Ferrigno and Cardi. Uh, when I show you how to do an AI by yourself, um, that's exactly what I'm about to do right now. So let me set everything up and get everything ready, man. Y'all check out uh, Serena, man. She she little, man. Marina bigger than her than her mama. Hold up. <clears throat> Look at her. TVK Serena. A1 Exotic Frenchies, Serena. Yeah, man, she a little smaller than I would have her personally, but, uh, you know, it's a good weight, man. She a good weight. Like I told y'all, man, this is uh, Marina Sky Mama. But yes, sir, man, so let me get, let's get to it, man. The grind don't stop, man. Late night. Late night breed, man. Let's get it. Uh, it's about to go down. This will be Serena's second litter. Just want y'all to see the comparison. Uh, if y'all didn't know, Serena was my shortest, most compact female. But now that uh, that's taken uh, by her daughter, man. Her daughter is now the most compact female I got. But I just want y'all to see young boy compared to her. I would say she's a Nice little son's Frenchie. Yes, sir. All right, bully fam. Let's do this, man. So, as y'all know, we about to do a regular AI real quick. And I do got my new microscope, y'all. So we get to do a semen analysis on my boy, young boy. So, uh, let's get to it. Now, y'all see I made this little leash right here. This is actually not a real leash, but it should be a little shorter, man. I should be a little further back. This will be young boy's second time getting bred, y'all. Last time he shot nine and 10 cc's, all three AIs, so. Uh, it did, that first time, I ain't gonna lie, it did take him a second. He didn't really know what was going on. But by that third AI, he was on, man. So let's see if he knows what's going on this time. Oh, 
Oh yeah, and just for a quick, uh, quick, uh, up, I mean a quick uh, recap on uh, doing AI by yourself, y'all. Uh, you don't want to put the leash around their neck. You want to put it under their arm so the dog don't choke themselves. You see, it's perfect for when you want to turn it around. <laughs> oh, that boy know what's going on, man. That boy trying to hunt my leg. That's what landlord do a lot. He try to hunt my leg when he knows what's going on. But anyway, man, so, yeah, you don't want the shirt to choke yourself. And then you want to go ahead. I showed y'all. I don't want to get this video demonetized, but I gave y'all detail on the last video with uh, TBK, Lou Ferrigno, and Cardi. All right, so there we go. Yeah, so it took him a second to uh, get going, but y'all can see, man, he's shooting now, man. Let's see how many CCs he got. See how many CCs my boy throw. Y'all yeah, can see this side angle. It looked like young boy was really taller than her, but he's not really that taller than her, man. You can see. See these two next to each other. It's the good thing about, you know, doing business with me, y'all, is that if you're in town, you got a busy schedule, you're like, hey, man, help a brother out. I, you know, if I got the time, I do got the time. So if I, if I got the time, man, I could definitely help you out with, you know, with the breedings and everything, man, because y'all know it's a lot, man. It's a lot to... Uh, to learn, it's a lot of stuff that you gotta make sure that you, you know, stay on top of and stuff like that, man. But since we're doing this breeding on the 15, uh, I think that's a good day, y'all. I think that's, I think she should take, man. Um, like I said, I'm not sure when the ovulation started, but I believe it started within the last two or three days, so. And mind you, this is only like uh, day six of bleeding, I believe. So, if you seen Effie right here, she was, she started ovulating on like day five, man. So, you know, keep that in mind out there, man. You got your smaller dog, ovulation might take place a little bit faster, man. You know what I mean? You got a, uh, you know, you got your big dog. At least when I was breeding bullies, I just go ahead and breed them on the uh, seven, eight, seven, nine, you know, seven through thirteen on those days, and I always get a litter, man. But with these smaller dogs, you know, you gotta get that progesterone test, especially like with micros, exotics, all that type of stuff. Like uh, Jason just had a progesterone test about two days ago or a day before yesterday. You about to breed to this crazy male, man. I don't got a, a picture of him, but I seen him, this male. It is a uh, he breeding her to that bo that male to minority. That's the female that we bred to landlord on her last heat. But yeah, I'm gonna give me a, give me a dog off of this litter, man. This is crazy litter right here, for real. Okay. Uh, man, but like I was saying though, gotta make sure um get that get those tests done a little early, man, with that small dog. So minority was here the day before yesterday, and her levels was jumping, bro. Like they was going from four to seven to five. All of that still under ovulation, but still it was just it was jumping, and then finally uh, it went up, it skyrocketed up to like a twenty something. So. Them smaller dogs, man, can get tricky, man. You gotta stay on point, man, with them 
I can see why a lot of people, like some breeders, not breeders, but some people, yeah, also some breeders too, they think that the uh, progesterone test is a scam and, you know, the person giving it to you, he may possibly might not know what he's doing, the machine could be faulty, you know what I'm saying, it could be a bunch of different factors on uh, why your test or why your female didn't get pregnant, so, I, 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 like, I'm a firm believer in the progesterone test, man. Even if I didn't have a machine, I'd still go ahead and pay whatever, you know what I mean? This is enough right here for us to stop, but I'm gonna keep it keep it going just so we can have a little more for the, um, for the microscope analysis. Effie is on day six or seven of pregnancy, y'all, so. <laughs> We can't tell. I did order a pregnancy test for her, man. It's a new, it's a new style of pregnancy test too. It hasn't gotten here yet. I, I, I ordered it from Belly Labs directly from BellyLabs.com, man. So y'all see that? I was gonna do that for her on like day thirty, man. But I still, I still believe in relaxing tests, man. You feel me? Relaxing tests, not the accurate, but. I feel like if you do a relaxing test at day 35, it should let you know, man. But yeah, just a few quick tips, man. When you bring your dog, man, make sure you feed the dog puppy food throughout the entire pregnancy, man. It's very important, man, all right? You see, uh, y'all probably can't see, but Effie's food right here, it got um, Foster's puppy powder on it. I put a puppy powder milk replacer on my dog food throughout the whole pregnancy, man. Um, that dog food is some blue buffalo because it was, I had ran out and it was like a night before. I went and grabbed some more of this uh, Kirkland. So I just grabbed that, but I still put the puppy powder on it. Um, Y'all might see Ultra 24 right there too. I don't, I don't really feed that uh, for my pregnant females, but it's still good, man. Uh, it doesn't matter how fancy the puppy powder is when you're putting it, especially it's before the puppies drop. When the puppies actually get here, I only recommend Foster's uh, milk replacement, man. But before that, you could try all the other stuff, man. Like as far as putting it on her food, you could also put it in the water. You could try the SB Lac, the Unimilk, all that, Ultra 24, all that stuff. And with that, what I do it for is just to make sure it's more milk in them titties when the puppies get here, man. You know, a lot of, this female, Effie didn't have no milk in them titties last time. And now that I think about it, I didn't really go too hard with putting milk in her, in her water and putting the milk replacer on her food, so. But uh, man, Effie, 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 if you took, boy, 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 am I gonna be, I was gonna say, boy, am I gonna be letting my nuts hang talking shit, but nah, I ain't gonna say that. I'm gonna be one happy camper. <laughs> ah, and I'll explain why after I confirm. Um, based on the DNA, uh, y'all know, y'all might not know, uh, Serena is DNA tested. I DNA tested her when she was young. She was a puppy. Also DNA tested young boys. So I'm going to put both of their DNAs on the screen right now. So, you know, for those who want to practice and uh, try to figure out what's going to come out, I'll show you these. You can match them up. You could tell me. I mean, of course, I already know, but you DM me and let me know what's going to come out. And uh, also, there's two apps. There's a Frenchy Fact and there's another app. I forgot the name. I put both of them on the screen right here. Both of these apps, bro, for all of my Frenchy breeders, beginners and stuff, if you need understanding on, you know, what genes mix and make what, these two apps is perfect, man. You can put what the mom carries on one side, what the dad carries on this side, and they'll simulate what, what the possibilities of what puppies, based on the percentages of what your puppies, what puppies could come out, you feel me? So, yes, sir. Uh, I know that Mr. Uh, Youngboy carries two copies to try. 
I know that Serena carries one copy of Try. So, they both carry testable cocoa, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, they both carry blue, so it's gonna be a nice blue Merle litter. Lilac or two. All right, so I can feel he's done, man. He going soft. Also, a quick tip, man. You see you and your dog right here, you try to breathe, man. Dick coming out, you keep shooting, right? If you had a spray bottle and it has water, just regular water, a couple of sprays on the dangling make it go up real fast. You know, you know I tried to do it with the water in my hand. Doing this, it didn't really work. But the spray bottle, a couple sprays, and it goes right back in. All right, Billy fam, so as y'all can see, my boy, uh, my bad, there we go. As y'all can see, my boy, young boy shot nine CCs, man, nine CCs, y'all. And you can also see that I'm using this AI three-way valve too, man. So let's get to it. All right, Billy fam, as you can see, man, we just did the AI on Serena. So we back right here, man, about to do the semen analysis. I got my sample and I got my microscope, man, with the handy dandy case and everything, man. I got this uh, particular mac microscope off of Amazon, y'all. Yes, uh, it was 300 bucks. Um, they, they had a better one where you could, uh, this little slide panel right here, it actually heats up gives you a percentage on a little percentage on how warm it is so um if you got this one i guess you should have a nice room control temp room temperature control room or possibly a warm room or something you know what i'm saying but we good man today it's not no ac is on right now so we straight man but anyway yeah man this is I only used this mug once, y'all, so this will be my second time using it, man. And uh, I like it, man. It's dope. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a sample right here, y'all. See if I could do that where I... Oh, fuck. All right, that didn't go right. Hold on, man. Let me uh, clean that shit up. Hold up. All right, my bad, I'm back, man. So I got a fresh slide right here. Now you're supposed to use this. Uh, the reason why I messed up, y'all, you're supposed to use a pipe in when you do this. I think I can get a good drop or two. Yeah, that was still too much, but we in there. All right, let me place this on the, uh, the little caliber holder thing right quick, y'all, hold on. All right, so what we have here is the first calibration. Let me see. Let me turn the brightness down. Okay, y'all. So this is the first magnification, as y'all can see. We got a lot of young boy swimmers in there. Let's go to the second. The second magnification. All right, we're at the second magnification, man. As you can see, them bad boys are still swimming. We're going to go to the, the next magnification. All right, y'all. This is the close, close, close. As you can see, they all got tails. They swimming. Yeah, man, so... When you're doing your semen analysis, man, you want to make sure that you got a volume greater than uh, 1.5 milliliters, you know, uh, 
You want to check the pH, the acidity, you know, you want it to be higher than 7.2, you know what I mean? You want it to be uh, at least like 39 million sperms per ejaculation or something like that, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Also, you want to check the mobility of the sperm, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna check the ability to move rapidly as well. Also, you wanna all also you wanna make sure it's more than 32% of the semen is moving. You know what I'm saying? Thing looks good, y'all, man. It's my first time checking out Young Boy Semen, man. But yes, sir, man. I'm glad my boy is actively active. <laughs> All right, bully fam, man. We outside. It's the next day, man. I got TBK Sky right here. Hold up. TBK Sky right here. And then I got, this is TVK Marina with her mama Serena on the left, y'all. So as y'all can see, Marina is a little bit bigger than her mama. Y'all can see Serena is super small and compact. Uh-oh. You all right? She's bust her ass, man. You just messed my little video up, but it's all right. So yeah, man, y'all take a look at Serena, man. But I just wanted y'all to get a comparison of, of her next to her kids. Y'all seen her with uh, Marina just now. now. Look at this. Look at her with Sky. Look at Sky. Sky more shorter and compact than her, y'all. <clears throat> I'm glad we're doing this so y'all can get an understanding because y'all... You know, when Sky be with the other dogs, y'all can't really tell. It's hard to tell who tall and who not. But as you can see, look at that there. Both them dogs. Short. Look how compact she is. I can't wait to breed TBK Sky to Kodak, man. Not only is that whole litter going to be no brindle, no pie. They're gonna be some short, stocky little mugs. Real talk. They're gonna be some short, stocky little uh, bulls, man. Yes, sir, man. I just wanted y'all to see this. Let me go get a young boy, man, so y'all can get another comparison on the differences on these, on the height and thickness. And you know what? You know what's crazy about uh, Serena and her daughter Marina? They both got the same exact DNA, y'all. Same exact DNA. The only difference is is that Marina is a carry, uh, fluffy carrier. But you can see uh, Marina got more of a fine looking Merle, and then Serena got that good powder blue. I like that Merle. That's like my best, uh, the best Merle color to me, man. That powder blue one. Yes, sir. Uh, but yeah, let me go get Young Boy, man. Y'all hold tight. My bad, y'all. So, having some technical difficulties with the camera right now, but as y'all can see them next to each other, this is Young Boy and Serena. Y'all see the height difference? 
Hey, 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 hey. There you go, y'all, man. Y'all can see. We got a nice, small, compact Frenchie with a nice, huge beast. The young boy, man. Y'all crazy, man. That boy is choke, man. Look at that, man. You ain't locked this boy, young boy, in yet, man. Shame on you. Solid beast. Yes, sir. Well, we probably gonna do that second breeding tonight. I will do another progesterone test just to see what her levels are. And that'll probably be the last one. We really don't have to do no more. Like, could just do this one. That, that one from last night is good to go off of. A 15, three in a row. Pretty much good, man. That was the same scenario we had with uh, Antway Exotics. I think it's females out of 12. And uh, yeah, man, we just went ahead and knocked that out. So, as y'all know, Serena's last litter was nine puppies. Yes, that's right. Sky Marina came out of nine, man. Nine puppies, y'all. So, just, uh, I just, uh, I haven't changed Serena's food because I'm sure she eats a different food at home, but I have been giving her some prenatal vitamins, so I ain't trying to send her home with no stomach problems or nothing. But, yes, sir, man. It's going to be a nice mix right here. As y'all know, Serena is a Blue Sant Times Trinity daughter, man. So technically, she is young boy's sister from a different litter. Same dad, different mom. Yes, sir, man. So when you do a litter like that, a breeding like that, you, you never know what could come out, man. You know, you see Serena, she's small, but the blood, the genes that's locked in, you never know. You could get you another, you know, female version, a young boy coming out of there. We're gonna wrap this video up, man. Appreciate y'all for watching, man. Appreciate y'all for tapping in. Y'all stay tuned. Uh, I might stop this video right here. Or I might continue it to the breeding tonight, but that's uh, TBK West. I'm out of here, y'all. Gone.